So um, welcome to the first demo of the Arclight uh, work cycle. The team has been uh, at work this last short week, getting together, um, working on uh, getting a scaffolded application up to begin development in Arclight. Um, what you can see here is an instance running locally on my laptop. Um, this is a full Blacklight uh, application that gets generated for you by the code that we've implemented. Uh, we've made a, an initial customization here, um, which is part of our, our goals for this week, just to kind of as a proof of concept to show that we can start um, making customizations to the Blacklight UI when you generate your application with the Arclight code. Um, so as you can see here, this is um, not what default Blacklight looks like, and we've just kind of put some text there and put a big uh, jumbotron unit on the on the homepage. Um, if I go ahead and jump into a search from here, um, what you can see is we've taken a single EAD. Um, somebody might be able to explain a little more about this EAD. I think this is pretty much just a uh, complete hand uh, handcrafted EAD with uh, fake data. Um, but we've been able to uh, write indexing code that can index this entire EAD. Um, so you can see we've gotten 30 uh, three documents here. Uh, all we've done is use the black light core functionality to configure the metadata display. So we're not doing any, we haven't done anything custom with the metadata display in this first sprint. So what you're seeing here is just basic titles and uh, metadata labels and values. This will make it very easy for us to come in and know which one of these fields we can pluck out and start uh, massaging for a better display uh, for search results. Uh, you can also see here on the left-hand side, um, we have some initial initial facets. Again, just kind of pulling uh, pulling some data out. Um, one of the interesting things is this names facet is combined from multiple pieces in the EAD, uh, multiple names from the EAD and combined into one facet. Um, again, a good proof of concept of ways that we can manipulate and massage the data for uh, discovery. Um, the last thing that I think that I'll show is I'll just kind of pop into a single record. Again, nothing much different, uh, but we did want to just show here that, you know, we do have uh, on the record display, we're pulling the same metadata uh, as within those search results. Um, so we were able to easily um, pull all of the, the contents uh, at every level of the EAD. I think that that's pretty much all that we have to uh, to demo this week. Um, after our uh, goal planning, uh, goals and planning session today, we'll have, um, I'm sure, a lot more uh, user-facing features to show for the next sprint. Mm -hmm. Great, thanks. Um, the one thing I will also add is just that the um, our target for ingesting EAD for this sprint was specifically um following uh the minimum dax requirements for for single level displays so that's part of what you see here and and basically we had sort of a, a pre-existing finding aid from nlm that we added that we sort of flushed out just to make sure that we could find all the data that we needed to build out that single level display at least for the collection level so yeah great okay. i think that's it then cool thank you all right. Thanks, everybody.